We can't really talk to people about things that God didn't relate to them. He only told us. You sitting here trying to tell people what God told you, trying to make them understand something when they not meant to understand it. What's understood don't need to be explained, and it's understood between you and God. Hey guys, it's Daviana, and welcome back to my channel. I know I say that a lot. Welcome back to the channel that God blessed me with. Amen. This is my journey, my walk with God. For those who don't know the timeline of when I first started my channel, when I was in this world and when I came to God, literally like the intermission of when God was calling me and I was trying to ignore uh, to now, you know what I'm saying? When God is like very present in my life and he is the head of my life. Everything that I talk to you guys about is like what I've learned from the Bible, what I've learned from my life intertwined just my personal experiences just literally my testimonies of the things that god has taught me the things that i learned from things that he has allowed me to experience to learn you know we learn from our experiences and i just share it with you guys so yes i am daviana and this is daviana's journey the holy spirit finna go in because he's sick and i'm sick with him this is sickening i'm sick of this i'm sick of this like very let's just start we finna read proverbs 3 y'all Get out your Bibles. Amen. It says, my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. This verse, five through six, right? Even verse seven. I feel like those are verses that people know about. They quote, but they do not really take serious. And this is not to judge or to condemn anybody. But what do you do when God tells you to quit your job? And you like, okay, but this is my only source of income. This is, this is what I'm doing right now. Do you lean right then on your own understanding? Or do you lean on God's understanding? Do you trust in God with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding? Do you do that? Or do you say, God couldn't have said that. That don't make sense. Why would he tell me that, right? Guys, I just, like, we need to, we really need to make this plain. And like I said, this is not to judge anybody, right? But if God is telling you to do something that doesn't make sense, this is why this, this right here says, lean not on your own understanding. Because it's not going to make sense to us. But God has a plan, right? We know that when he closes one door, he opens another. So he cannot open a door for you. He cannot lead you into another blessing if you still have something in the place of what he's trying to put in. Like basically, he cannot give you something else when you have something already right there in that place where it's supposed to be at. He can't. Like say for instance, I live in a three bedroom apartment, right? One bedroom me and my husband share. And then I have two kids that take the other room. How can I have another kid if i don't have room for it right we're gonna have to move we're gonna have to move in a bigger house because eventually that kid is going to grow up yes the kid can stay with us for some time like in the crib or maybe i'll put him in one of their brother or sister room i don't know right but eventually when that kid gets about their size they're going to need a room of their own which means that we're going to have to move which means we're going to have to leave one house to walk into a bigger one are you following me spiritually? We have to be able to let things go to walk into bigger things. God cannot bring us into bigger things. And we still over here harping on the little things that seem so big to us because we're leaning on our own understanding because we're like, God, why would you want me to let this go? Like, this is this is a big thing. And he's like, you ain't seen nothing yet. Like, what you talking about? Right. Keep that in mind. We finna keep reading. We finna keep reading. OK, amen. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bone. That's verse eight. Okay, follow me. I honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst with the new wine. You heard that? Keep going. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold. 
she is more precious than rubies and all the things that thou can desire are not to be compared unto her length of days is in her right hand and the left hand riches and honor her ways are ways of pleasantness and all her paths are peace she is the tree of life to them that lay hold upon her and happy is every one that retaineth her the lord by wisdom hath founded the earth by understanding hath he established the heavens by his knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew my son let them not depart from thine eyes keep sound wisdom and discretion so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck then shalt thou walk in thy way safely and thy foot shall not stumble when thou layest down thou shalt not be afraid yet thou shalt lay down and thy sleep shall be sleep be not afraid of sudden fear neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh for the lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken withhold not good from them whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand to do it say not unto thy neighbor go and come again and tomorrow i will give when thou hast it by thee devise not evil against thy neighbor seeing he dwelleth securely by thee strive not with a man without cause if he hath done thee no harm envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways for the froward is abomination to the lord but his secret is with the righteous the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace to the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. So I know that was a lot. I hope that y'all stayed with me because I did read the whole thing. But that's just because I don't, I'm trying to get you, look, 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 look. I'm trying to get this word, okay? Well, I need y'all to know where it come from because I don't say nothing without God, okay? Any experience that I speak on, anything that I speak on, I try to always compare it to the bible or my reasoning or just anything i always try to put god in it because this this channel is about god it's about my journey with him i can do nothing without god so back to the leaning on their own understanding verse five sometimes it's going to be scorners like it says in verse 34 there's going to be scorners who always going to try to question you and try to understand your reasoning behind things like well why do you think god would tell you something like that why do you think he would tell you move into your car why do you think he would tell you to quit your job why do you think he would tell you these things right they're always there's always going to be scorners right but we're not here to get the approval of men we're here to get the approval of god our life is not our own so if god tells us to do something there's always a reason behind it he's never going to just tell us to do something for the fun of it right because he sees he sees ahead he knows why he knows why that's why he tells us to lean out on our understanding because he we don't understand we don't know we don't know what's ahead we don't see the things that are to come like how he does we don't know his plans so it's easier for us to just do what we're supposed to do and just reap the benefits of it rather than go against the grain and always hit the headboard this is why people lose faith because they stop leaning on god's understanding and keep leaning on their own and then it's hard for them to understand like why am i not seeing any new blessings because you're not making room for new things you're not receiving any new blessings because you're not making room for new things guys you're not making room for new things you're not waiting on him you're not trusting in him with all your heart like he asks us to in verse five it say trust in me with all thine heart and lean not on thy own understanding it's as simple as that just trust in him just trust that he would he would have something bigger for you and this is why we see pastors and people preaching over and over saying like god would never leave you nor forsake you and that he has something bigger for you and that he has your best interest at heart we see them repeating this because it's like we're not applying it it's like we're hearing it but we're not applying it to our life we're not we're not asking ourselves why do we feel like god would ever leave us low how do we think he would take us back to where we came from why do you think that he would leave you where he got you from why do you think that he will bring you this far to walk away from you like we're not asking ourselves this like why do i think that why can't i trust him why is it hard for me to do the things that he asked me to do when it doesn't make sense? Like, is it because I really don't trust that he has my best interest at heart? Is it because I really don't trust that he cares about me and that he loves me and that he would never leave me nor forsake me and that he has better for me? Is that really why? And then you have to you have to address that. You can't be in denial about it because it's only going to further delay the blessings and the bigger things that he has for you and you're going to keep repeating cycles keep repeating old things you wondering why you keep walking into the same type of man because he's trying to get you to learn something he's trying to get you to see something but it's like you keep accepting the same things 
you're wondering why um god hasn't promoted you to a new position and you're not even ready to let go of the position that you are in you're not even really ready for change we hate change so much that we don't want to change but at the same time we want to change like we want to change our hair color we want to change our hair but we don't want to change careers that's too drastic that's we want to play it safe we want to settle when god is like i didn't make you to do that i didn't make you to do that <laughs> we don't want to let this guy go who's hurting us because we're scared of change but we want better from him we want him to change but we're scared of change you see it doesn't make sense that's double-mindedness that's double-mindedness how you want change but you're not willing to actually get change you're not willing to make a change you want a new outcome, but you're not changing your actions to change the outcome. That's double-minded. Like, guys, this is not, this. I just hope that y'all know that I love you. I love you. This is not judgmental. This is just being real, right? And so then he talks about wisdom. So in verses 13 through 27, he's talking about wisdom the entire time and how wisdom is what helps us. Wisdom is what gives us peace it talks about how the lord used wisdom and understanding and his knowledge to create the heavens and the earth so they're setting up how wisdom can benefit us and basically help us right they're setting it up for us to know and then they're letting us know how god used it right so it's like yes all these things are true about wisdom but this is how god used it he had to use wisdom and understanding and knowledge to even create the thing that we're in right now to create this universe to create heaven to create earth right it's like they're letting us know just how good to having those things are and how those things come from the lord so it's good to have wisdom it's good to have understanding you have to have wisdom to understand you have to have wisdom to understand i don't even you have to have wisdom to understand you have to have wisdom to understand why God does the things he does. You have to have wisdom to understand why you have to let things go to walk into better things. You have to have wisdom for this. You have to have wisdom and understanding to, to even compute these things, to even allow these things to happen. Guys, it says wisdom and understanding is better than a merchandise of silver and the gain is better than fine gold. And verse 14, that's it's basically saying that's the best thing that you can have and money can't buy it. You know how we be like people lack common sense. A lot of people don't have common sense. A lot of people don't have wisdom and understanding. <laughs> A lot of people don't have wisdom and understanding because if they had wisdom and understanding, everybody would believe that um, Jesus is the son of God. Everybody would believe that Jesus is Christ. Everybody would believe that Jesus is Lord and Savior and not a prophet. Everybody would believe that God has their best interest at heart, right? If everybody had wisdom and understanding, if everybody had common sense, right? <laughs> like we can equate that to each other. Common sense is something you can't buy, just like wisdom and understanding. Ain't. And a lot of people don't have it. A lot of people don't have it. And if you don't, you really need to pray to God and you need to ask for it. I ask for it every day. <laughs> Child, please. I ask for it every day. I, I put that in my prayer every day and amongst other things because it's so many things that can happen. And it's like you need wisdom and understanding to even be able to like fully comprehend things, especially now in day. Like so many things in the Bible, so many things that's happening now, it said it would in the Bible. People calling good evil and evil good. It's happening every today. It's happening today. And really, I made this video really for verse five. But I just want y'all. I wanted y'all to get the whole chapter because the whole chapter is chef kiss. OK, basically, the message is to really ask God for wisdom and understanding on what it is in your life that you need to let go and allow God to bring in new and bigger things for you. And it's like, there's so many scorners, right? There's so many people who's coming up against us. And it's really the enemy using them, trying to make us delay our blessings. This is why we really shouldn't even talk to people about things that God didn't tell them. They wouldn't understand. We can't really talk to people about things that God didn't relate to them. He only told us. 
He only told us. <laughs> he didn't have to tell you because it's not about you. It's about your business. Mind your business. <laughs> it's not about you. It's about me. God told me to quit my job. I don't know who this for, but whatever. God told me to leave my husband. God told me. He didn't tell you. He didn't tell you. He told me. Like, it's not for you to understand. You won't understand because he didn't tell you. The message is not for you. That's why you won't understand. But I understand. I know I'm going to trust God with all my heart and lean out on my own understanding. I get it. And it's like people are going to be scorners. People are going to try to make you doubt yourself and what you know God told you. They're going to do that. And, and they're going to expect you to listen to them. But we're not here to please nobody. You don't have to explain to nobody. Christ didn't explain to them Pharisees. Okay? He didn't explain nothing to them scorners. Because that's basically what scorners is. Pharisees. He didn't explain to no Pharisees what he was sent here to do. He said, I'm just going to show you. I don't have, I'm not going to waste my energy and my time talking to you. You're basically trying to ask me questions to try to find ways to condemn me and that's what they will do they will they will ask you dumb questions <laughs> to get an answer to find ways to condemn you and ultimately to drain you to drain you because you sitting here trying to tell people what god told you trying to make them understand something when they not meant to understand it this is why god tells us to shh because not everything is meant to be explained what's understood don't need to be explained and it's understood between you and god you have the wisdom and understanding on what your mission is and what he told you to do and why you doing what you're doing. Why are you leaving your husband? Why are you taking your child out of school because you don't want them in the school system no more? Why are you quitting your job? Why are you demoting yourself from principal to a teacher? Why, whatever you might be doing. Why are you not a doctor no more? Why you went to medical school all them years and you not a doctor no more? They like, what's up with that? They make good money. God said at the end of the day, like, who are you, sir? Because one thing about it, people are so fickle. People are so fickle, and it's not going to matter. They was talking stuff about you when you was in medical school. They was talking stuff about you when you was marrying your husband. They was talking stuff about your kid when they was in school. And now, look, you taking them out of the school. You divorcing your husband. You're not a doctor no more, and they still talking stuff. They still saying whatever. Guys. I'm going to need y'all to get in power. I'm yelling because I'm fired up, okay? I'm fired up. i fired up. I told you the Holy Spirit was finna go in because he's not playing. There's too many people out here that's trying to please man instead of pleasing God. And then they wonder why they stuck in the same place because he didn't tell you to do that. Man told you to do that. Now they got you where they at. Now y'all both in the lion's den together, chilling, talking about, hey, what y'all finna do after this? Look, <laughs> if somebody's going to last through this video and somebody's going to get the message, if you got the message, I need to drop it down below, period. If you got the message, I need you to talk to God. Don't even worry about the comments. Talk to God. Praise God for even bringing you to this message because it's for a reason. I'm telling you, there's so many people out here who fall short because they listen to other people. The devil uses people, guys. The devil uses people, even them Christians, even them Christians in church. Who you love so much, who, who, every Sunday, even the devil can use them to place a little drop, just to place a little seed of doubt in you, place a little seed of fear in you, place a little seed of worry in you, and then disguising it as concern, disguising it as concern. You know how the devil disguises himself like he just all light and shiny and he care, right? And then, long behold, he a devil. You thought this man was your pronite and shining armor, and you like, I don't man, no. I'm telling you, it's a lot of anti Christ spirits walking around in these human bodies, and they're jumping from Christian to Christian, or they jump in just from empty vessel to empty vessel, right? And it's like most of the time people can be concerned, but the devil can still use that. Even if they are concerned, that little bit of um questioning, making you making you double minded, making you fear, making you like not understand. Like, is that what God really told me? Guys, 
The same thing happened to me when, before I moved into my car, and the same thing is happening to me now. Story coming soon after I'm passed through the storm, amen? <laughs> after I'm going through this storm, story coming soon because there's nothing new under the sun. Look, I'm not even trying to make this video too long. I just hope that y'all got it. Go read Proverbs 3 for yourself and let God minister to you and to your situation because I don't know you from a can of paint, baby. I can only think of stuff. I don't even know if you was a doctor. Amen. I don't know if you're divorcing your husband. Amen. I don't know if you're taking your, your son or your daughter out of school. I don't know. I can only make up things or things that the Holy Spirit just gave me. And it could be somebody's situation, but I don't know you. I don't know you. So read Proverbs 3 and let him minister to you and your particular situation. Amen. And I hope that this blesses you. And I hope that you took encouragement and you took understanding. And if God told you anything that don't make sense, and you trying to talk to your friends about it and they like, look, I don't think God would tell you that. It needs to just be between you and God. Y'all talk is y'all talk. Amen. When you talk to your friend, you don't expect them to go tell everybody, do you? Amen. You don't expect them. I done told you something secret. God reveals the secrets of the kingdom to us. He don't expect us to go tell everybody. He would have told them. If he would have been to know, he would have told them. And you be feeling like that too. When Susie know your information and you only told Emily. How Susie know? <laughs> I digress. I digress. Look, take it to the Lord. Take everything to the Lord. Please, please take everything to the Lord. Don't let these people cheat you out of your blessing. Because you you trying to lean on their understanding and your understanding and your mama understanding instead of God's understanding. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Look, and I'm going to just say this thing right now. I don't believe this to be true in anybody's situation where God told them something. But this is just the other way of thinking because we still have those humanly doubts and fears, right? Say, for instance, you heard God wrong. Do you think you putting all your trust into God on what you thought he told you? You think he just going to leave you? You don't think he going to redirect you? You don't think that he going to correct the wrong? You don't think that? I need y'all to give God more credit than y'all give Satan. Amen? I need y'all to give God more credit than y'all give Satan. Amen? Because why do you think that he would not redirect his child? If he tell us to lean on him, do you think he finna move? You think he finna fake us? You think he finna be like, you leaning on him and he just, and now you falling over? You think that he finna do that to you? You think that if you really thought God told you something and you believed that with all your heart and you followed it and you went with it anyways, because God knows your heart and you went with it with all your being, you trusted in God with all your heart, like it says in verse five, because you thought he told you that. You don't think he gonna correct it? If he really didn't, you think he just going to leave you out like that? High and dry? You think he just going to let you ring yourself out? You don't think God will correct the wrong? You don't think that he would help you? You think he would just leave you like that? I need y'all to give God more credit than y'all give Satan. Because Satan only does what he allows him to do. That man is still a puppet. God might let him fake like he's not on a leash. But he's on one. You know how we got them wires that you can uh, control with the dog thing? You know, when it's loose, when it's not locked in, they, they believe that they free. They going, as soon as you lock that boy, ooh. Look, look at that spiritually. Don't let that go over your head. Amen. I'm going to see y'all in another video. I hope that this blesses you. I hope you got understanding from that. And I hope y'all listen to God instead of man. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope this blesses you. I will see you in another video. Peace and love, guys.